I came into work. I was there a little bit early, clocked in, got all my, my bell, everything together. Went into Central, got my radio, my mace, and got my assignment for the day. So about hour, maybe not even that long, into my shift, I got a call on the phone and said someone was going to be coming in to relieve me. Sergeant Cox needed me for something. And I went up to the office and he says, so Peasley, where's your lunchbox? I'm like, I don't know. I thought I left it in here. And he goes, yeah, it's in here. Find it. It took me like 45 minutes to find it because I didn't think that he put it in the ceiling. So finally I get my lunchbox back and I go, so now what? So we follow him into zone control. We go in there and I put my lunchbox down again. So he grabs my lunchbox. There's three doors to get into zone, and there's one that leads out back into no man's land. Because if there's someone out back there, if you don't radio, you're gonna get shot. That's how it works. Because most of the time they'll consider you as an inmate or something, someone trying to escape. So he runs out, puts my lunchbox out there, and says, you better radio and tell him you're going to get your lunchbox. Otherwise you're gonna get shot. So I radio to Central, I radio out to the outside patrol vehicle, and let them know that I'm actually gonna be no man's land behind closed unit just so they know that not to shoot me or anything. So when I go out there to get my bot lunchbox, he closes the door behind me. So at this point, I'm starting to walk back around and I hear over the radio, I need your assistance. And I said, well, I can't. I'm locked out back. Sergeant Cox won't let me back in the building. And at that point, I hear over the radio, people start saying, no one likes a snitch. Snitch, snitch. A drill ICS is if something's going down, if an officer's in trouble, their inmate's fighting or something, you call this over the radio, and this is so people respond. It's not something that's meant to be made a joke. When I go, start to look down it and read it, like if you, I'm said, I'm not reading this and someone from beside me took out a fox can, which is pepper spray, said, if you don't read it, I'm gonna spray you. The note says, I'm a green gumdrop, I only eat red gumdrops. <sighs> I've always dreamed of being a sugar plum fairy, princess. And then the last line, which is what Sergeant Co Cox wrote, from this day forward and forever on, I will refer to Sergeant Cox as my overlord daddy. I am owned. So then I go back out into the hall where everyone at this point is gathering around. There's at least, I don't know, uh, 15 staff involved at this point because I had people from medium unit when I called the ICS who thought it was real. And well, it's three of them on top of me and they get my hands out and handcuff me and drag me over to the door to get into zone control and handcuff me to that door. They didn't put them on tight enough, so I had pretty small hands, so I was able to slip the cuff, and I'm going for the second one, and when they notice that, they come back over and handcuff me in front and actually tighten them up. And I said, can you guys please let me out? Um, and they wouldn't let me. While I was handcuffed on the ground, certain <laughs> had come up with a fox cannon and put it in my face and said, stop fight. That was pretty much the end of the day. So I finished out my shift and went home.